What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by my fiance and we are going to sit down and answer a few questions. Basically I've been off of my channel for the past few weeks but I have a good reason and that is because football, coronavirus, we just bought a house, I just started a new job with our house, we've been renovating. Doing it all. Honestly it's been the crazy, oh and planning a wedding. Forgot wow. about that. Uh, but honestly, it's been a very crazy past few weeks, so I figured what better way to kind of like bring you guys back to where we're currently at in life than to do a Q&A. So I went on my Instagram, Isaac went on his, and we posted on our stories one of those little Q&A things, and we had tons and tons of questions. So many that literally we're breaking this video down into three different parts. Questions for days. Questions for days. So this first video is going to be us answering the football questions, season, things like that. The second video is going to be wedding planning, our future together, things like that. Oh. And then the third video is going to be just like miscellaneous. Oh. Like there was no category. So like I said, we're going to be answering some football questions. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, be sure to go follow us there because I feel like I'm more interactive on Instagram than any other social media. Aren't we all? Although TikTok. I don't know. Isn't everybody more active on Instagram? Maybe Facebook making a comeback? <laughs> no. MySpace? Okay, here we go. Cut it. Okay. That only took five minutes. She's on it. Okay. She's on it, folks. So, the first question is, how is daily testing for COVID in the NFL? Is it intense? It's actually not that intense, but it is every day. Don't get it twisted. They're in, they're in the nostrils daily. Yeah, I was actually pretty surprised that they get tested every single day. We have to fill out a questionnaire to see, like, do you have symptoms? How are you feeling? What's your temperature? And then we go in and test. So if you fill out the questionnaire and you have symptoms, then you enter kind of like a little mini protocol. And then if you fail, you enter the full protocol. We haven't had any failed tests with the Chargers. We love that. Um, and for the program. Yes. Somebody watching this video needs to knock on wood. Appreciate y'all. Oh. Next question is, how strict are the rules right now for the NFL? Pretty strict. I mean, we're not supposed to do any like hanging out, not supposed to be in groups of three or more with guys on the team. So even teammates can't have three or more outside the facility. Obviously, like can't be out and about at bars. Not that we really do that anyways during the season, but we're, uh, woo, um, we're not supposed to be doing that. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty strict. During the season, after games typically, like we like to go out to eat. I mean, even on his off day, we'll like go to the beach or something. But because it's coronavirus, we make sure that like if we ever leave the apartment, it's to like go to the dog beach where you can social distance and not be around anybody and we still wear masks even though we're like outside on the beach whatever um the next question is isaac allowed to sleep at home i sleep at home every single night except the day before a game but that's what we would do anyways they're not making us stay in like the hotel there's no bubble mm -hmm. yeah, i think a lot of people think that with corona and the nfl they're like all staying in the hotel or they all like can't hang out with certain people which i guess they can't hang out with certain people true. But I mean, Isaac sleeps at home every single night before, uh, every single night unless it's before a game. And then for away games, like obviously he is at the away game in that state. Yeah, other than that, like they don't really. Other than that, yeah, we we're at home. Question. This is a random question. If one of the one of your teammates' family members had Corona, would they be able to like stay at the hotel or something? Uh huh. That's a good question. Hmm. Curiosity. The next question is how do we cope with not seeing each other a lot during the season? We are, I mean we see each other a lot during the season. Yeah, we uh, Like football is honestly like a typical like nine to five although Isaac leaves the house at like six So it's like a six to five boys are working and it's definitely a lot more taxing on his body than a typical nine to five job But honestly ever since I started working at home. I honestly like him leaving because it allows me to get some work done. He's He goes to work and then comes home and then like we're like have missed each other the entire day. And then like off season, obviously, well, this will be the first off season coming up where I'm not going to my nine to five. Like I work from wow. home. So it will be interesting, but nobody wants to be with their partner 24 seven. I do. I feel like Corona showed that to a lot of couples like it is not healthy to be with each other. At no point did I not want to be with Allie, so I'm gonna let her speak for herself. How do you manage football, a relationship, and quality time? You definitely have to be strategic, but again, it's like any, how would any other couple do it? Mm -hmm. I actually have a lot, of, I mean, I'm off on Tuesdays, Mondays I'm done by like 2.30, mm -hmm. Sundays I'm done after the game. <sighs> Saturdays, 
I got most of the day. Fridays I have most of the day. So like, we have a lot of time. It's not yeah. managing, it's just like. But I do feel like with our time, we don't manage it well in terms of spending quality time with each other. Yeah, I mean, I think every couple can work on it, right? I just feel like Isaac is, his Enneagram is a three. So when he comes home, he's like on phone calls, doing meetings. He is like, go, 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 go. And then at the end of the night, I'm just like, I feel like you were home like the whole day, but I still miss you. I feel that way too, but we got stuff to get done. I'm totally joking. I do need to be more strategic about it. I do have a problem. And I think it's hard because, I don't know, I just feel like if we ever do go out to dinner, we'll go with like one other couple. But like, the, it's very rare that we ever go out to dinner just us two and like make a date night out of it. That's on me. We gotta work on it. That's on Big Ike. <laughs> Talk to him now. <sighs> That's funny. Next question is, does Isaac want to go to another team other than the Chargers? I'm here to stay. I my. That's a that's kind of a weird question. I want to stay with the Chargers as long as I can stay with the Chargers. I love the team. Mm -hmm. I'm on the team. I mean, shoot. Are you on the team? I'm here. So I don't really have an answer to that. The league is crazy, though. You never know what will happen. Mm -hmm. You can end up on a different team for a number of reasons. But as for me and my household, we're, we're with the Chargers. I'm definitely with the Chargers. I'm with Southern California, the Chargers, the beaches, the oceans. The taxes, the <laughs> rent price, the... No, but honestly, NFL players can't really choose where they want to go unless they go into their second contract. What is your favorite part about California? Um, Don't think too hard. Probably the... Oh yeah, what I say when we talked about it last time? The vibe. I like the vibe. I just think like there's a Cali vibe, especially living near the beach. There's a vibe. I mean, I didn't even yeah. I didn't even have sushi really like that until I came out here, and it's like that's part of the vibe too. The sushi culture, and pokey culture. It's just like totally different from where I was raised. Totally different from where Isaac was raised. My favorite thing about California, it kind of goes off like the vibe, but I just like being able to walk. I like going to the beach. Like my favorite thing, waking up every single day, going and working out, coming coming back, taking Frankie for a walk it's and a going to the beach. Yeah, I love We're those. spoiled here. We don't even- Oh, so spoiled. Well, like I said earlier, we don't need to tell these folks about everything because we are dumb spoiled. It's hard to even like, this was like a year where we were like, all right, we're gonna kind of splurge a little bit, live in a spot that's pretty nice. It's a membership fee. Yeah, it won't happen again. Isaac grew up in Georgia and I grew up in Michigan and then we both went to college in the in Indiana, Michigan, whatever. Midwest. Midwest, yeah, that's what I, I was like, Middle East, but that's definitely not. Egypt. Anyways, um, so like California is just like night and day difference from Michigan. Oh, next question, do I miss Michigan? And mm -hmm. Isaac, do you miss Georgia? I don't miss Georgia at all. I do miss Michigan, but the only reason I miss Michigan is because A, my friends, and family and B the seasons. I do miss the seasons and I miss everything that comes with the seasons. So like going and pimp 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 going and pimping <laughs> going and picking out my pumpkins during the fall they have like little farms you go to like even getting our Christmas tree is so different here versus Michigan. Like in Michigan you literally go to a tree farm and you chop down your tree. Like it grew in the same place they didn't chop it down like you're chopping it down. So it's just very different out here. Okay, okay. Whereas here you have to go to a tree farm and it's like overpriced, it's like $400 for like a tiny little stub. Not a good look. Never. Next question is how fun was playing football in college? Unreal. <laughs> it was uh... Unreal, <laughs> sits there and doesn't talk about anything else. It was, it, I mean, like, Notre, it's hard to, I don't want to compare Notre Dame to the NFL because it's very different, but it was playing Notre Dame was, it doesn't get better than Notre Dame. To be honest, I really like, I, I think I like college football more than the NFL, just because I feel like it's a little bit more personal. Like teams aren't always being switched around so much. It's more intimate. Yeah, and you know you're gonna be there four years, like that's your school, you're gonna get a degree from there, so it's gonna forever be, you're attached to it forever. Mm -hmm. It matters. Yeah. What is it like dating a professional athlete? Um, I think it's cool. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I think it's really cool. Like, well, I mean, I don't know what else to say other than it's cool. Mm -hmm. It's definitely unique because whenever we go to like 
not even just restaurants. Like we went to PetSmart one time to get cat litter and someone was like, hey Isaac, like can I get a picture with you? And here I am just like... <laughs> the cat litter and like in the picture. It. Did you have the cat litter in the I picture? I did, I did on purpose. Oh shoot, I just smacked our dog. Wow. My bad, Frank Sklee. Do you feel like you're in the NFL? No. Mm, good question though. Good question. Um, and then the second part of that question was suggestions for not getting jealous and insecure. I feel like that answer is super simple. Um, I mean, that's like a super deep. Oh, you're okay. dating a professional athlete. Okay. No, not. I was like, that's a deep question for somebody to randomly ask. Yeah. So, Q&A. how to not get insecure in a relationship where you're dating somebody who is an athlete? And I honestly think it just is the person you're dating in your relationship. If I was, if Isaac was like scheming behind the scenes, obviously I would be super insecure. But like, we just got engaged. We've been dating six years. Like, we've had ups and downs. Boys, but boys are in it. Show them the ring now. Oh, I need to get my nails done. I want to talk about it. Look at the thumbs. I, the, oh. I always make fun of Allie. These shirts are so corny to me. I love them. God, they're corny. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine me? I'm 270 and well, I got Why don't you go in? Why don't you go and write Lululemon about it if you're that unhappy? Lulu, about if you're it. listening, you have shirts without those, so. Lulu, if you're listening, send me all the shirts with those. You undid it though. I know, because I don't want you to make fun of me. Anyways. Isaac, uh, Isaac, it says Isaac's workout routine, Isaac's recovery routine. Oh, what does that look like? All right, memory card ran out of storage. Anyways, what were we saying? What is your ro- workout routine oh, yeah, and recovery a, routine look like? I'm on a four day week lifting plan. So I just go in at, uh, I, well, I lift at seven now. Go in, lift, get a nice pump in, and then practice later in the day. But uh, recovery is, I stretch every day. They asked, what does your recovery look like after a game day? Oh, it depends. I mean, right now, like I played like 20 snaps the last game. I probably could have went and played a game the next day. But the game before I played like 60 snaps, boys were immobilized. I couldn't move. So it just depends on the game, depends on the situation. Uh, Isaac's definitely a little bit- Dramatic. Part, you said it, not me. I was gonna say Isaac's very particular in his routine, especially when it comes to recovery days and the day before a game. I just feel like he has a very specific routine and he's like A, B, C, D, all right, I'm good to go. I'm gonna have an amazing game or I feel, I'm gonna feel so good tomorrow, whatever. Did you like watching football before dating Isaac? What was your favorite team? Yeah, I mean, in college, me and my best friend, Megan, went to every single Michigan State home game. Literally would be there an hour, two hours before the game. We would literally wake up at like 6 a.m., start pre-gaming, go to the stadium, sit there the entire game, diehard MSU fans. And then when I started dating Isaac, I broke my streak of going to every single home game, unfortunately. Probably for the better. But I do really like football, and I feel like I grew up in a household where we always watched football. Unfortunately, we watched the Lions. Well, not unfortunately. Shout out to Romeo and Ju- Julian. But we watched the Lions, who just, I feel like when I was growing up, they were just always had a losing streak. So it was definitely rough, but good football family, and like my brother played football growing up. So, next question is what do you do after games? We go out to a nice dinner, we hang out, we usually go out to dinner with. Uh, another couple. That's but pretty now much it. It kind of depends. Now with COVID, now with we, don't COVID do we don't do anything. So like Isaac, after a home game, Isaac will come home. I'll probably have Postmates waiting for him. It's happened one time. The house is dirty. Laundry's not done. <sighs> yeah, Sundays I just kind of hang out. I end up going to one of the girls' homes. We kind of switch off like who hosts, but we, all of us obviously don't want to watch the game by ourselves. So one girl will host all of the significant others of the Chargers at their home. All will bring food, whatever, drinks. And then obviously we go home and just kind of wait for them to get home. As for an away game, Isaac doesn't come home until like, Five, eight, sometimes like 5, 6 a.m. It depends where the game was. But for like the New Orleans, New or- I always say New Orleans weird. New Orleans. For that game, it was a Monday night football game and he didn't get home until five. Sheesh, that was brutal. Yeah. I mean, with Corona, it's definitely impacted what we do after games. I remember your first season, we used to go to like Mastro's with like a big group. Super hang nice. out, yeah. Because the guys, then they can start relaxing. And if they won, sometimes they'll have like a victory Monday where they won't have such an intense practice on Monday or whatever, um, but with Corona, it's kinda, that's a little damper on things. All right, so we only have time for two more questions because Isaac has to jump on a meeting. This is what I said about quality time and managing time. Why would you even tell him? Subtweet. Anyways, um, 
the second to last question is what is your relationship with the Chargers, other teammates, defensive line? With the Chargers, other teammates? Like, what is your relationship with teammates in the defensive line? Oh, we're super close. We spend six hours a day together mm -hmm. in meetings, talking, or in the locker room. More than that, like eight. So I would say we're super duper close. And I feel like because the Isaac is super close with all of those guys, we end up always hanging out with them. And then I became friends with like all of his teammates, wives, and then me and them will hang out. And so we've kind of created our own little family out here in California, especially because with the Chargers, they honestly don't really switch up a lot of their players. I feel like some teams are very like cut on or like cut, hired, cut, hired, whatever. But with the Chargers, over the last four years, we've been really fortunate having our close group of friends like staying the same. Yeah, it is super clutch. And then the last question is, what will you do when football's over? Sheesh, no clue. I have no clue. Um, but Isaac is, like I said earlier, he's an achiever. So right now he is co-owning his company called Local Human with our neighbor Trevor and they've been Trevor. doing amazing and doing such great things in the community. So like obviously I know that's one of his passions. I don't want to just speak for yourself, but he has like his MBA, like he's doing, no he's not doing. He Isaac, for those classes. Isaac's getting his MBA right now. So I just feel like when football's over, he's not going to just retire and never work another day in his life. Definitely won't. I just can't it's see just, him doing that. Football is a piece. There will be many other pieces in life. Mm -hmm. Last thing, what's your favorite part about being a charger? Being in LA, yes sir, Southern California, yes sir. Honestly though, I feel like the Chargers is like locally owned and like it's like a ma and pa kind of team. And I just love the Chargers organization. I love the people that work for the Chargers. I'm speaking for yourself again. No, it is. It's I think just like shut off. Once he knew he had a call, he just like shut off. What? No, that's not true. Oh. You you were talking. That's not fair because if you watch these videos now, Alan's get to talking. No, but I the organization's unreal. I mean, I but my favorite part is I love being in California. We've been here long enough to where now we appreciate the relationships. I think initially, when I don't know anything about any of these teams, I'm like, shoot, okay, bet we're going to California. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so that concludes the little Q&A football part one. So if you guys want to watch part two and part three, be sure to subscribe down below, turn on the bell notification so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Um, and then right after all of these Q&A videos, I'm going to be coming out with video like vlogs of the, over the past like month. Um, and then we'll be back to scheduled programming. So We're, we'll be back. Yeah, if you guys don't follow us on social media, we have our Instagrams, TikTok, whatever. I'll leave that all linked down below. So go and follow us there to stay updated. But uh, with that being said, go check out part two coming out tomorrow. Um, and I will see you guys in our next video.